Hello, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today is a very strange tutorial. I'm going to have some fun with Affinity Photo, but I have no idea what the final result will be, because every time you do this, the results will be different. So let's get started. First, I'm going to open a new file. I'll just do an 800 by 800 at 72 dots per inch. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new layer. And on that layer, I'm going to go to Effects and Gradient Overlay. And I'm going to turn on Gradient Overlay. And let's just pick some colors. So randomly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then on that side, on the other side, we'll pick probably a, maybe a nice blue. And then we'll add another pixel to the center. And in the center, maybe we'll, we'll brighten it up with a yellow. And we'll say, okay, we'll close. And what we'll do is we'll grab the paint tool and there's the gradient, just like that. So let's duplicate this layer, which is Command or Control J. And this time, instead of normal, we're going to say difference. And it doesn't look like anything happens. But what you can do now is just change something here. I would also change this to difference. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. And now look at that. Just by that minor change, look what we've done. Now we'll close that again. And one more time, we're going to do Command J. And every single time you do it, you get something else. If you want to make that a little different, you can just pick some other spot. And now close it. And then we're going to do again Command J. That one's pretty cool. I'll do it again Command J. Uh, Command J. I'm not doing anything except Command J. And this is a very cool one, so I think I'm going to use this one. I really like the way this texture looks. By the way, you can go into any of these at any point if you want and, and change them around just like that. But I kind of liked where it was, so I'm going to leave. That's close enough. So I'll leave that like that. So now what I want to do is merge these layers. So I'll go to Layer, Merge Visible. And now if, you, if we turn, if we get rid of all of these, I can just select them all and delete them, bring them down to the garbage bin. And then that's it. So now we have one rasterized layer. And that's pretty cool. Now even with this rasterized layer as is, that would make a wonderful background uh, to anything you want to create. But we can do other things, for example. We can go to hue and saturation, maybe instead of a color one, Maybe you want something like that. You want to turn it into a black and white, and then you could do, you can use curves. You could do anything to give it a, a different kinds of looks to it. Bring out the highlights and everything, but I'm leaving it here for now. So here's what I'm doing with this. I'm getting rid of that. Let's undo that. So all we have is this pixel layer, and I'm going to now file and export it as a JPEG and say export. I'll put it on my desktop and I'm calling it, I already had one, I'm calling it test pattern, so I'll replace that. So now that we've created this very cool backdrop, it could be used as is. You can just save it and use it in the background for anything. But let's go one step further. So let's select the layer and go to filters, distort, mirror. And what it will do is it mirrors it once here, but you can choose how many times you want to mirror it. So let's try, let's try four. And you could change the angles. And you, see these angles right here? You can make them look very different. So you can just have fun and pick any kind of thing. I like that one. So I'm going to say apply. Now, after you've applied the mirror, now you can do file, export, as a JPEG, I'm doing a high quality for this case. I'm just going to say export and I'm putting it on my desktop. And I've already created something called test pattern. I'm, and I'll just, I'll just write test pattern two. The first one was the original. Second one is test pattern two and I'm going to save it. And I'm replacing it. 
So now we open up any new image, file, new, I'll just say OK. We create a new layer. Now we go to layer, new fill layer, and instead of solid up here, we go to bitmap, and we're going to choose that bitmap we just created, that JPEG. And then you can do lots of things with that. You can pull this around. Let's try and do some things. I'm trying to get the handles to work the way I want them to. There we go. So you can do some very cool things. You can just, you can choose that and make it just the way you want it. Sometimes I like to do something like this. I, I try to get it straight in the middle and I go like, and I try to do patterns like this. And then I can go to adjustment layer on that and hue and saturation. And maybe I want it to be almost like a metallic look just for a background. So use your imagination. You could do anything you want with this. That could be, it could look like a cloth. You can add it to a piece of clothing, use it in a pattern on a piece of clothing. So have some fun with Affinity Photo. And if you found this video useful, please click subscribe. Thank you very much.